Well, what I would have to do would be to essentially... Um... I would have to put the chat room in, like, a corner. Or, like, the AOL something in a corner. Um... How would I do this? How would I lay the thing out? Um... Hmm. Let me think about this. Uh, well, I'll figure it out somehow. Let me think. Let's see. Let's go on to Twitch first and change the topic. This is a really dumb idea, by the way. Also, this IGN Pro League thing. This is nuts. It's had 100,000 views on it earlier. Uh, not only is 36,000. Why even bother? 36,000 viewers. Uh, dashboard. The communist theme was sort of done in the form of the North Korean themed park thing. Um, what was I going to type? Roller, coaster, tycoon. Update. Did I update that? Yes, I did. You missed the trains, but in name only, I wouldn't really say you missed that much. So what I'm going to need to do is... I can bring that back out. Is, uh... Pull up Windows 98. And where is my virtual... Let me share it. Microsoft Virtual PC. Windows 98. Ta-da. It's a computer in my computer. Darzaz, I've never been to a convention for anything before, really. So... Oh well. And Windows 98 loads. Sort of. Load, 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 load. Eventually. Oh, there we go. So I'm going to have to load this up and then change it to 200... Oh, not 256. Um, yeah, it is... Oh, wait, no, it isn't. It's 1237, not 137. You tried, Windows. You tried. Don't ask about the kid face. There's a very, very long story behind why that's my background. Also, it is not me. Uh, settings. True color. And probably restart. Okay, so how about some Roller Coaster Tycoon? And we're going to steal the names from AOL chat rooms. And ideally the ones that aren't about people having sex with each other. Didn't that kid have cancer? Ah, uh, no, he didn't. He was just the kid. Windows is now restarting. Well, it, it's taking a while. Restart better. Do I dare click? Cash for gold. That is Sonic. Uh, safe mode. No, thanks. Just plain old Windows for me. I know I can stop that screen from showing up. I just kind of like it that way. And while that loads up, I'm going to gawk around on Justin TV to see what else is fresh and hip and poppin' yo, as the kids say. That is what the kids say, right? 24 hours of Nintendo 64. We had a 64 hours of Nintendo 64 marathon. Oh well. 
Okay. Why do I have AOL? Uh, long story. Actually, no, it isn't. Uh, just what we used to have for internet when I was at home. Settings? No, I want the, uh, that one. Yeah. Oh, man, I've got so many icons. It's not used, or it's not supposed to be this small. Um, what's the AOL that I use? Seven, I think? Seven. Alright, so the idea is... Go into AOL. I don't even know what my password is. Is it this? Is that my password? No. Is that it? In the past, your username was blocked from registering for free trials and purchasing pro... Why? Why would you... I don't want to learn more. I just want you to go away. I don't have any space for any of this. Jeez. Alright. 800 by 600, the really tiny resolution. Okay, I gotta make this bigger. Uh, probably 640 by 480 at least. Or, uh, wow, I got that backwards. 640 by 480 is a really small resolution. I need to change it to 800 by 600 at least. Alright. There. Okay, so somehow I'm going to have to figure out how to get both of these in the window at once. So let me close that. Let me get the game in. You guys can't see anything right now, and that's okay. Why is somebody instant messaging me? Uh, where's my thing? Rollercoaster Tycoon. Load, please. Roller coaster. where are you on my start menu? Roller coaster tycoon, yes. Load. Are you loading? Is it loading? No, it isn't. I'm just staring at a black screen. Blackest of screens. Um Roller Coaster Tycoon. I don't want the second one, I want the first. Oh there we go. And there. Wait, what do you mean missing or inaccessible file? Roller Coaster Tycoon. No, that's... That's fine. What is your beef? Uh, hmm. Hang on. Where is my thing? Everything is broken. Oh no. We're all doomed. Roller Coaster Tycoon. Yeah. Run. No. One second. Roller Coaster Tycoon. Look in the D drive. There. Okay, fine. That took entirely too long to get going. Um, I wonder if Game Source works with this. How does Game Source even work? You need to click inside the window, so click your game, then go back to it and choose this menu. So I did. Yeah, okay, this doesn't work with Game Source. Never mind. Just ignore me, I'm muttering to myself. Okay, so. Here is my dumb idea. Eh, whatever. That'll work. My dumb idea is... Hello, chat. Um... What if we were to have... Roller Coaster Tycoon... With... Oh, hopefully the music isn't that loud. Um... Roller Coaster Tycoon with... Picking the names... For... The coasters... Through... A really old, crummy AOL chat room. How about that? If that isn't a terrible idea, I don't know what is. I don't know why I even thought of that. Uh, there is no sound at the moment. Hang on, everything is breaking. 
Oh, I know what I can do. Hang on. I've got a... Maybe not a great idea, but a... Potentially functional idea. Um, it's essentially... XSplit actually has that thing with multiple scenes, and I'm thinking maybe I can actually do something with that. Like, I could have this over here. Windows 98 all the way in the other corner. Uh, where can I put the chat, though? Doesn't really seem to be a place for the chat. Um, people still use AOL chat rooms, and I cannot tell you why, but they do, and it's sort of mind-boggling. So let me close this. Alright, let me go to... What does scene one have? Scene one is nothing. Scene two should have coasters. And scene one is blank. Okay, so this is how I think XSplit was designed to be used. You could have multiple scenes, and everyone is happy. Oh, wait, this is too small resolution. No, I mean viewport. There. So I think you might be able to do this. Uh, only issue is that I can't really get the chat in there because there's not that much space on my screen anymore. And they should be able to go to that. Oh. That's, that's a problem because they're not the same resolution to start with. Although this might help. There we go. Oh, that sort of works. Okay, there we go. Here's my really, really dumb idea. What if we played Roller Coaster Tycoon? And when we need to name things, we will go into one of these random... Oops, I gotta switch over. One of these random AOL.com chat rooms that, for whatever reason, don't ask me why, are still here, and people still talk in them. In fact, Straight Naked Buds has been here for at least five or six months at this point. And I don't know why. I can hit one on XSplit. Oh, can I? Does it look bad this way? I don't... Ah, oh, whatever. Uh, that doesn't look too bad. Scale viewport. So essentially, everyone, white line on the right side, I, here? Let me just double check these for one quick second. That looks okay. Oops. Oh, I see what you mean. Gotcha. There. No, there. Okay, there. I've finished fiddling with everything and everything is still going to break eventually. But the thought is, make coasters, and then go right onto AOL, right here, and load them up, load up one of these chats, and essentially pick the first thing in the chat for a name that isn't necessarily really, really overtly sexual and will get me banned. Look at this, multiple scene switching. This is very professional, I would say. Anyway, um, let me just throw this up on Twitter as quite possibly the worst idea ever. Justin TV, just shilling myself out on the internet again. Key bards started to follow me. Thank you. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay. No, I don't want to type there. I want to type in here. Roller coaster tycoon. Using names from AOL.com, or not even AOL.com chat rooms, AOL 7.0 chat rooms. There. The balance of both worlds. When Windows 98. There. Okay. So that's there. Now I can't see the chat because I filled it up with my Twitter everything. But, uh, there is my terrible idea. Let me just 
plug something into the headphone jack so you guys don't get a lot of audio echo because Roller Coaster Tycoon is kind of a loud game. Just throw some headphones on. I can even find a place to plug these in. There we go. Oh, there. And hopefully you should be able to hear it. Like now. And now you're not going to get feedback from my speakers, which would make an echo because the lag between direct capture and speakers are sort of different. That's the difference. Now you know. Uh, anyway. So, Roller Coaster Tycoon stealing names from old school AOL.com chat rooms. Bad idea. Bad idea. Um, how is the audio, by the way? Before I start the uh, thing. Good? Bad? Can you hear me in the game? Need the game louder? Need me louder? I can't actually get louder, so you're just sort of stuck with me at the moment. Good? Bad? Just... Audio perfect, the worst idea, audio's fine, alright, cool. New one. So we've beaten all the original ones. We have not beaten all the Corkscrew Folly ones. I just realized we haven't done the first scenario on this one yet. Alright, so your choices here... ...are... Just pick one. Pick one that you like. You have Whispering Cliffs, Barony Bridge, Gentle Glen... ...or Coaster Canyon. I don't know the difference, so I can't really explain to you... ...what the, um... What the quirks of each one are. But, uh... Whispering Cliffs, Barony Bridge, Gentle Glen, Haunted Harbor, or... Coaster Canyon. Chat says, Whispering Cliffs, Gentle Glen, Cliffs, Glen, 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 Glen. Alright, that's a lot of Glen. I'm gonna go with that. Gentle Glen. Oh, wait. Gentle Glen is essentially making a bunch of crummy gentle rides, if anybody... If anybody cares, I mean, there's essentially not going to be any coasters in that one if I do that. I don't know if that changes your opinion at all. Not gentle to Glenn! Lame! No, no! Okay. I think that's why we never picked gentle Glenn. That's why we just skipped over it from the beginning. Haunted Harbor? Haunted Harbor, alright. Objective, 1,200 guests by year three. Okay. Well, this is sort of already named for me. Um... Let me just double-check the other ones, because... I want to build something from scratch, so I don't have to go through the uh, AOL chat rooms over here and come up with names for everything that already exists. It might just be easier if we start from scratch. It would be a lot less to keep up on. Apparently the top part is also cut off, you say? Left and top are cut off. Are they? Hang on. I can't see. They are. All the buttons were cut off. Alright, I'll double check that. Um, alright, just pick a different park that doesn't already exist. Coaster Canyon is blank. Barony Bridge is blank. And Whispering Cliffs is blank. Alright, so pick one of these. Whispering Cliffs, Barony Bridge, or Coaster Canyon. Coaster Canyon, Barony, Coaster Canyon, Canyon. Sorry, I'm just kind of really delaying everything. Barony, 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 Barony. Coaster Canyon, Coaster Canyon, Coaster Canyon, Coaster Canyon, Canyon. Coaster... Alright, fine. Coaster Canyon. 1,200 guests by the end of October, year 3, with a park rating of at least 600. Exactly the same as the other one, just without a head start. Uh... Yeah, that is a canyon. You told me the buttons were cut off. 
Are the buttons cut off? Oh, the buttons are cut off. You, uh... You were not lying about that. Alright, let me... Let me turn that off. Oh, hang on. And I will... Do this. There, now it's not cut off. Probably. And let me switch scenes. Alright, that seems to work. Okay, so we're going to name all of these coasters that we will ultimately make in this... So oh, that's rather big. In this area, based on the feedback of people in old AOL.com chat rooms. So, let's begin. We need to name this. AOL chat room. Park? Utopia? I don't know. I can't actually fit the chat in this at all. There is no space left on my screen. I've got like a full screen AOL window up and this whole thing up. AOL chat room. AOL chat room what? Not one. AOL chat room canyon. I like it. Alright. Let's do it. It's open. Charge no money. Start making some rides. How about this one? Steel mini roller coaster, which is the thing I always build. And they all look the same every time I make them. And uh, just again, a note on the naming thing. If the names turn out to be really sketchy and uh, not necessarily ultra stream friendly, I might uh, might modify them a bit just so I don't do anything that gets me banned. Because that would be bad. Then I couldn't play coasters anymore. Alright, so that'll go down, then it goes up a little bit. This ride should essentially look familiar to anybody who's ever watched the stream, because it's more or less the same thing I always build. Now, let's see, we started at what height? 15? And we ended up at 10. That'd probably be okay. And put a bit of chain there just to be safe. Get a loan. I will need one very soon, believe me. always in need of loans. That is how this game works. It's just about getting loans. Swallowing your pride and getting a loan. The video game. And can I make it over this? No, I can't. However, that can. Not. Nope. That eh, looked promising. How about that? No. Oh. It's a coaster in the way of my coaster. Can't do that. Oh, I gotta get rid of that little bit of twisty thing. There we go. And then take it out of the inside of the cliff. Except I can't for some weird reason. I think I've taken up too much space. Nope. One, two, no. Go. One, two. There. And now we're out. Try going under. Yep. Seems like we made it out okay. I don't actually know how much speed it's going to have at this point, but hopefully enough. It's the same coaster I build every time. Well, with a couple minor variations, I guess. Too high for supports. Oh well. Uh, no, it's not gonna click. That's not gonna click. I need to make that go out more. Like that. I think. No, wait, don't do that. Talking to myself. You probably think I'm nuts. That is what the internet does to you. Oh. Hmm. How does that not work? Is that good? No. 
Oh, I see. It's way too low here. And... Good. And it's done. First ride. What do you guys think? Think it is going to work? This is not made very well in terms of planning out the entrance and the exit. Which is to say, I... Hmm. I don't know how I'm actually going to connect it. I guess that'll have to go there, which is a totally different kind of pathway, but whatever. Deal with it. Check your OCD at the door. Tree in the way. Well, now it's dead. Okay. Another masterpiece. Well, we will see. See if it even works. I kind of hope it does, but... I don't want to rebuild it. That yeah, looks okay. 34 miles an hour seems manageable enough. If somebody bought me Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, would I play it? Uh... I guess. Don't feel compelled to buy me anything, please. Don't spend your money on me. I really don't need it. And so far it's working. Although that is rather painfully so. Oh, God. My Windows 98 thing just went to screensaver. <laughs> um... <laughs> Hang on. Let me just double check the Windows 98 thing is working. That was a giant hole in the Windows 98 thing. It's weird. I wonder what happened there. Um. Hmm. Oh, screensaver. Anyway. Ignore that. But, um... Anyway, how did this do? High, high, and medium. That is pretty good. I would say. Now, for whatever reason, there is a giant blue gap on my Windows 98 screen, and I don't know why. But uh, this seems like a functional enough ride, so I'm going to go ahead and charge five bucks. And now, the moment of truth to see if we can actually name this thing based on crummy old AOL chat rooms. Oh, wait, it seems to have fixed itself. Oh, no, just kidding. What if I close this out? So if you're just tuning in, this is Roller Coaster Tycoon, but instead of asking the chat for a bunch of names, I had this really bad idea to essentially go back onto old AOL.com chat rooms. Oops. And go into old chats, and I don't know why there's a big thing there, and ask people in those chat rooms for name ideas. And I will probably end up with essentially a load of pornographic things, but it is worth a try. Also, I will be using my crummy old fourth grade email address because that's the only AOL account I have. Um, alright. Well, I don't know what chat to go into. <laughs> Do I want to start in straight naked buds? Or NYC shemales for males? Or perhaps straight but curious, or prison inmates, or straight dudes kicking back. I really don't know. <laughs> I, I I can't say any of these places will give me a good name for this roller coaster. Or biblical truth. All right, well I'm gonna just start at the top of the list and pop into straight naked buds. and see 
what people have to suggest for me. Hi guys, I need a name. Can you give me a name? Please don't be bad. You don't have to have a cam, just the watch. North New Jersey, under 23 in here? That could have been me. I don't think any of these are good names. I don't think 33-year-old BTM jock, ex-pick for trade, willing to send first if you want, makes a good name for this, uh, for this coaster. Anyone have a name? Anyone, please. Name me. I'm not naming it that. <laughs> Anyone? So do I. Ugh, God. I feel like this is the wrong, the wrong chat room to start with. Buy Puerto Rican Italian in North, looking for under 23 in North New Jersey. Oh, I don't need a chat, most of a pick. Oh man, um, this is a really bad idea now that I'm thinking about it. Maybe I should go into the things where they're just all dumb political arguments. Oh, come on, I said this in all caps. How are they ignoring my request for a name for this Roller Coaster Tycoons thing? Um, name, please. Sad face. Anyone? They're not all bots, which is the weirdest thing. These are all legitimate people. I actually was in one of these chat rooms once and some dude randomly sent pictures of himself to me. That's probably why no one uses AOL anymore. So if you're just tuning in and wondering why it says Roller Coaster Tycoon but you're looking at AOL, it's because I'm going to be playing, or I am playing Roller Coaster Tycoon, but taking names for the coasters from, from uh, AOL.com chat rooms. And a feeling like it's not the world's best idea. But, uh... All right, I don't think Straight Naked Buds is going to provide me very much. I want to find another one. Arts and Entertainment. Uh... Bloody Crusade Bar. That sounds like a good place to start. Hi, guys. Can I get a name for a thing? See what they say. Hopefully they won't ban me. They probably will. Um, no, that's a little bit too long. You know, I'm just gonna take this one. I'm just gonna take Bloody Shamrocks as the name. That's officially what it's called. I'm gonna call them Bloody Shamrocks. Because I need to go with something. Asking as a normal person without caps might help. This is AOL! There... there aren't normal people... Oh wait, you can't even see what I'm doing in the game. There aren't normal people left that use AOL chat rooms, I'm fairly certain. Alright, I, I christened the... Bloody Shamrocks. Because I needed... a name. And that's about the best I'm gonna get, I think. Uh, if anybody was wondering, that random roleplay in, uh, in that AOL chat is still going on, if you wanted a piece of that. You just do a screen capture there and read it on your own time, I suppose. I got a game to play. Bloody Shamrocks is open. Also, Bloody Shamrocks just asks, are your balls replaceable? So I feel like... I feel like that's not quite necessarily the chat. It's going to provide very many fruitful names for this endeavor. But anyway, we have now one coaster open. And we need to go and make... I don't know, have an information stand. Those are fun. Yeah, we'll put them right there. And make the maps... I'll make the maps... Yeah, 50 cents. And make the umbrellas $20. Uh, I would go on to the game section of AOL, except nobody's there. At all. I have just been, by the way, I'll just pop in. 
I was making my coaster and making my information kiosk and I just got suspended from the Bloody Crusade bar. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to find another one for a new name. Alright. Well, I gotta name the information kiosk one something. Alright, so again, this is a roller coaster tycoon playthrough with uh, attractions named after things suggested in old AOL chat rooms. So I'm gonna head over into this one and come up with a name for the information stand. I've just been banned, so that's, that's great. Close. Uh. Mostly smut, gay, instant message role play, no. Uh. UC, USCMC, USSS, US, uh, whatever. Oh god, I feel like I'm not, oh, jeez. Oh god, what? <laughs> There's a lot of words really quickly. Um. Okay, you want me to be dignified? Good evening, sirs. I am in need of a title for an attraction I am completing. Doth thou havest a suggestion? <laughs> nope. No, no good. <laughs> they don't like me. Oh well. There are no rooms in the auto section. There are no rooms in the black voices section. There are no rooms in the celebrity section. Food? Friends? Fun 40s. I'm like 20. That's got a. It's like half 40. You know what? What's your name? I'll just go with this. Remember pouring Hershey chocolate in milk? That's a thing you wouldn't know unless you're 40. Come on. Tell me. Anyone? Did, did I kill this chat? Hershey coaster. Hershey chocolate in milk. Just call it that. I, I think I've killed this chat. I tend to do that. What? Call the chat. Thank you, lady. Love Hershey syrup. Uh, <laughs> you know what? Whatever. I'm just gonna call it Love Hershey Syrup. I don't know why. That's my only grandbaby. <laughs> this is such a terrible name. <laughs> why would anything be called that? Love Hershey's Syrup. It's... It's an information kiosk. But now it's called Love Hershey's Syrup. That didn't even get in. There we go. Now we're good. <laughs> so Bloody Shamrocks almost sounds like it could be a name for something, but Love Hershey's Syrup is pushing the envelope and how dumb these names really will end up being. Having a merry-go-round. I can find a place to squeeze it in. Entrance, exit. And now we get to start this song and dance over again. Alright, back over to AOL for a name for this guy. Uh, they're still talking about Hershey's Syrup. I'm gonna find another chat. What's on your mind? 
Guys, I need a name for something. What do I call it? It's important to ask in the typical AOL fashion, which is to say rude and obnoxious, and in all caps. Potentially pink in Comic Sans as well. But we're going to stick with this for now. Hi, Okar. Says Lady Bass for you. Maybe Lady Bass. I don't know. What do I call it? What do I call it, Lady Bass? What do I call it? <laughs> no. <laughs> don't ignore me. You're killing me here. I need a title for this. Nobody ever responds unless you're using pink or comic sans. Just just give me a name so I can get on with the game. Remember Babe Blur? <laughs> Say hi to her. Respond. No, I need them to respond to me. Call it LOL, yes. How about the lady base for you go round? Bad idea? Bad idea. I like it. Actually, wait. I did the online date. How about that? I'll just call it the online date go round. I don't know. What do you guys want? Remember Bay Blonde? Eh. I don't know why people still chat in AOL, but they do. And I will never understand why. I did the online date. <laughs> well, it, it sounds like a like a title for someone's memoir, honestly. I did the online date. All right, well, that's a name in the loosest sense of the word. How about a bathroom? Oh, actually, no. Let me build something so I can have a little bit of extra time before I have to hunt around for a name. How about a cheap thing? How about a car ride? Yeah! Those are great. Everyone loves car rides. Right? The name of the amusement park is... AOL Chatroom Canyon, because it was originally called Coaster Canyon, I believe. So we're just going through a bunch of AOL chat rooms and asking people for names and essentially just picking things mentioned in the chat room for the name ideas. Because it seemed like a good idea at the time. However, it's becoming readily apparent that everybody's only in AOL chat rooms to find sex. And I don't know about you guys, but if I've got one turn-off, it's using AOL. But we are all different. Raise your lower land first. I'm working on it. There we go. Build that car ride to the ground. I don't know what to do with it now. But now I'm at the bottom. Maybe I should make it go up. Uh, where's that thing? Oh, there it is. Oh. Well, that's not a good place for that to be. I'm not going to be able to build a support there. Uh, turn. And then turn. Oh, wait, no. No, no, go back. Straight, then turn. And then go up. No. No, go up. And go flat, and then turn. Then go up and get stuck in a corner. And then swear a lot. How's that going? That looks okay. Just need to get this guy above ground, and he's almost there. Gotta be close, though. But it should make it. Just barely. You can turn off the underground view on. Or 
turn off the underground view on. That's a great sentence. Can turn the underground view off now. And let me make the station platform a little bit smaller. And we're good. That is a car ride, which despite looking kind of interesting, is actually really boring. Even if it does go all the way underground. And station platform can go there. Hook on to the exit, which then connects somewhere. Except I don't have any money. I should fix that. There. Now I took out a loan. I will never repay it, but that's okay. Car ride one. And I'm going to save and dive back into AOL chat rooms to get a name for this guy. Okay. And we're back. Uh... What did I... You were talking about chocolate literally two minutes ago, and now they're talking about having sex with each other. Oh, AOL. What am I going to do with you? Um, games. I don't know what these are. What is E-H? Okay, and lesbian. Sons and fathers. I... Oh, God. Oh, wait, that's right. I need to make it bold and Comic Sans and pink. Because that's the only way anybody ever pays attention to me on AOL. Hello! What is a name for a car ride? Maybe I'll give him a little bit more context. Just so they know what they are naming. What is a name for a car ride? There's 36 people in this chat. Surely somebody needs to have some idea. How about Nitro's Big Daddy? <laughs> and no one replies. No one has any idea. Tim is banned? No, not yet. Oh god, what? Is this somebody from the chat? No, it's this guy! <laughs> oh no! Go away! Alright. What is a name? For a car ride. Stop trying to pick me up. This was such a bad idea. Do you need a ride? <laughs> oh man, if my inbox gets full of just naked pictures. Joy. Okay. Okay, thanks. <laughs> All right. He said it's Joy. The name is Joy. That is the only name I've gotten so far. How about just Joy and then not sure in parentheses? Oh man, that one guy. Top Dog 2020 Home. Hi, you need a ride. Oh, that now he tells me to hitchhike. Are you doing a crossword puzzle? Asks sig <laughs> Asks Submissive Dad 10. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to my coasters, I think. Anyway, <laughs> just gonna gotta back out of there. Comic Sans does get results, and I think it's because I happen to have boy in my username from fourth grade. If only I knew then what it would lead to. Okay, well, Joy, not sure is the name that the guy gave me, so that's what the car ride is. It's just Joy. Not sure. And also, I just realized I need handymen. I should name the handymen after people in the chat rooms. But I don't really want to call this handyman uh, something like Submissive Dad 10 or 
Top Dog 2020 Home, or Namath's B31969. Anyone from... Why is everyone looking for people in New Jersey? It's... Ugh. It's like they're looking exactly, specifically for me. Anyway, I'm just going to forget that ever happened and go back to coasters. Where I have enough money to buy something that I will waste money on and nobody will ride. Most of New Jersey still uses AOL. Ah, oh, God. I would hope not. We're not that backwards as a state. Where am I going to put this? Hmm. This is a steeplechase rod, and I think they're kind of boring. I don't think you really have any, um... Any banked turns or anything with that. It just goes up and down and then turns around and that's it. Do I have steel coasters? Yes, I do. Alright, let's make one that's really bland. My specialty. Actually, no, I don't want that. This is quite possibly the dumbest idea for a theme park I've ever had. And that's saying a lot. Like, it really, really is. Oh, wait, I'm crashing my coaster into that coaster. I can't have that. Oh, that doesn't work. Did I already do that? Is this the same thing that I just made? Yeah, it is. Alright, I gotta go back one more. I need chains. No, I don't. I'm going to give it powered launch. She'll be fine. Have it go underground. Uh, eventually. Actually, no. I'm just gonna end like that. Ta-da. And then, powered launch. Test, entrance, exit. And I'll have to move the pathway back a little bit. Whoops. However, not while people are on it. That's not a good idea. Now they're all horribly confused. Uh, get that out of there. And of course the tree's in the way. Eh, whatever. I guess it's just a really short line. Okay, and let me just test this guy out, see if it works. What do I need for this park? Like 16? Oh, not open, I mean test. 1,600 guests? Or, no, 1,200 by year 3, I think it wants. Okay, well that worked. Medium, medium, and low. Alright, so charge 450 for this guy. Right. Right. And open it. And save. And save. And save. And now we need a name, so let's head over to AOL and see what we can get. Um, gonna get out of the sons and fathers room. How about the health room? Diabetics discussion? No one's in there. International Latino life. Actually psychic. Psychiatry's a scam. Heaven's Angel Readings. Alright. There's people in this one. 
If there were a roller coaster that went to heaven, what would it be called? I feel like this is... This is something that I feel like they would be knowledgeable in. I can't tell them I'm a girl if my name has boy in it. I feel like that would be a bit of a giveaway. Just a bit. The Holy Roller. All right, well, <laughs> I like it. That's kind of clever. <laughs> Thanks, you're the best. Wait, reading and process. Oh, God, what? What does this mean? I I will keep you updated if they give me a reading or something. Well, it's officially the Holy Roller. I'm going to make it all white. And maybe a little bit of gold on that. Mostly white. That doesn't look white at all. It's just kind of gray. Alright. I asked. They told me. It's the Holy Roller. Now that's a class act. I would say so. Give the cards gold lining. That might make sense. Oh, somebody gave me my reading. Hang on. Let me go back to that chat for a second. It seems like... There's something that you've been putting off. Some kind of decision that needs to be made. Like what? Should I have coffee now or later? Seems as if it's been pushed to the back burner. Well, that's vague enough to apply to anyone. Me? I don't know if she's talking to me or that other guy. I'll keep you informed anyway while I get back to the game. We need more guests, and the only way to do that is to get some propaganda going. So we're off, and let's get an ad campaign for the Holy Roller. Why not? And free food or drink? Well, we don't really have any. Oh, please hold chat. I'm in the middle of reading. Thank you. Okay, no problem. So that was not me. Reading in process. Take all chat to instant messages. Sorry. They're yelling at me now. Free entry to the park. Yeah, it's already free, but I'll make it even freer. And hopefully that helps. That is not my reading. Yeah. I will let you know what the reading turns out to be, because I am marginally interested. Also, why are so many people riding this? Oh. Because the excitement's 360 and I'm only charging 150. And eh, charge 350, it'll be fun. Uh. Oh, got a green arrow on guests. That's good. What are they thinking about? Thoughts. Holy Roller was great! I did the online date is a really good value. Oh. Well, that sounds good. Music is nice. Bloody shamrocks. Too intense. I feel sick. Is nobody hungry? Eh, I'll give him food anyway. Oh, wait, if I give him food, then I'm going to have to go through another chat room. And I don't want to do that at the moment. I'll build a log flume. Those are cheap and apparently popular. Let's do it. This is actually really, really weird to build in, because I want to build on the edges. But that's not easy to do, because there's not a lot of space there. Hmm. Oh, wait, somebody sent me a message. Uh, I will check it in a minute. While I start building this log flume. Who is... Levider23? Hmm. Oh, the mysteries of AOL. You never cease to amaze. Oh, no, too high. Alright, kill it there. Spin it about. Spin it about. Nope, crash it into a thing. Go down? Nope, that's still in the way. Uh, I guess we'll have to keep it low. No, it's still in the way. Keep, no. I don't know. What is AOL? 
Uh, don't worry about it. Nothing good. Anymore, anyway. And entrance, and exit, and test, and... Pathways! Pathways. I don't think knowing what AOL is makes you old. Although, now that I'm 20, I feel all old for some reason. I don't know why. I feel like I should have done more. <laughs> Somebody help me become the Justin Bieber of roller coasters. Oh, that connects. That's just a really nasty pathway. So somebody also sent me a message on AOL. A personal instant message outside of the chat room, and I don't know if this person is from the chat. But uh, now that this is almost done, I will switch over to that view. And you guys can see it with me. Then you lock it is not porn. Does that click? Oh, that does. Looks really sloppy, but it works. Save. 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 And okay, on to the AOL chat room. Joop. What do you like to accept? Okay. Oh. Did you get a reading in there? Most of these rooms suck. There's only a few real accurate rear... Ah. There's only a few accurate real readers still online from the years that everyone goes to. Yeah, there's Tree Wilb, he's good, and that popular one, Shuvani777. She's amazing with details, just hard to get sometimes. Oh. Um. If you say so. Uh, Glacidia? Sure, no problem. <laughs> Thanks. How about them spelled like AOL version? Thanks for the lowdown, bro. Dog. Dog. It's weird. Hitting enter doesn't send messages like it normally does. I never got my reading here, anyway. Well, maybe I'll just leave this one down here, and I'll go back to it. And I'm gonna close this, because I don't think that person ever wants to talk to me again. Uh, let's go into the Transcendental Magic chat room and ask what a good name for a log flume would be. Oh, I can only be in one at a time. Oh, darn. Alright, guess I'm never getting my reading. Transcendental Magic. Hey! Hey, Ocarin. Um... What is a good name for a transcendental log flume? That sounds like a great question. <laughs> Those are words that I don't think were ever used in a sentence like that before. Oh, wait, I should have these... Roller Coaster Tycoon game on pause. They're talking about Al Qaeda and the Taliban. Well, that doesn't have anything to do with transcendental magic. Or does it? No, it doesn't. I'm not calling it the Taliban. Is there something you want me to say? Nah, go for it. Whatever you want. Why is everyone ignoring me? Say that to a suicide bomber, and a roadside bomb. What, but what are you... What are you talking about? What, what... God. Anyone? Exactly. Oh, clearly. I forgot the pink. 
Well, this is kind of par for the court. Transcendental log flip WTF. <laughs> uh, I think. I mean, if, I guess it's called WTF. So that's that's the name he suggested. All right. <laughs> I I gotta go with it. I mean, I gotta listen to the people. All right, and. Here's the grand opening of WTF, because it's what he said. Now they're talking about Israel again. So I'm going to nullify all that with some coasters here. 361 guests. We need about 850 more. This is such a bizarre idea. <laughs> I don't know if it's great or terrible. Uh, I gotta make more stuff. Did I build a food place yet? No, I didn't. I should build a drink place. And a food place. And then a bathroom. And somehow, I'm gonna have to name all of these. Which I think will be a very long and arduous process. Uh... Are they all open? Um... Well, I... I gotta name it. I know I should put exits on the log flume thing, but I normally never really put exits on... Or, uh, exits. No entry signs on the exit. But I normally don't do that. I normally just sort of leave them. Kind of a bad habit, but... Well, I'm gonna go back to that chat and ask what a good name for a burger is. What are they talking about? 9-11. Alright, thanks, guys. What's a good burger... It is a terrible idea. But I feel like if people are still using AOL, they clearly know something I don't. And because of that, I need to... I need to essentially wrangle their creativity for my own theme park. I have also just been banned by Magic1808. I cannot... can no longer ask Transcendental Magic what their idea of a good burger is. He could have just said McDonald's, and I would have been happy. Jammies or not. That sounds like a good one. How old are you? What is a good burger? Anyone? Jammies or not. I'm 44. No, I'm not. I'm only 20. Don't rush me. Anyone? Anyone? I'm 44, the burger. <laughs> I'll do it. I will do it. Anyone? Any Anything at all? You need a special cable channel to tune it in unless you buy the DVDs. Oh. Burger! <laughs> Anyone! I need a name! I don't want to change the name back, or the uh, font back. I feel like that's exceptionally obnoxious. Who? You know what, I'm just going to call it Nuts from the Apocalypse. Because I don't think that black guy and his son makes a good name for a burger joint. That's a drink stall. That's a burger stall. Nuts from the Apocalypse. <laughs> I have literally gotten one 
name suggestion. One serious name suggestion. I ask in a more educated way, except it happened to be in a sexual role-playing room. <laughs> and then they kicked me out. Well, now I still need to name the drink stall in the bathroom. So I'm going to find another chat. Find a name for a toilet. And I feel like a good name, or a good way to go find one of those names, would be to go to one of those horrible political chat rooms. Because... I would imagine I would get no shortage of political figures thrown around if I'm asking for a name for my toilet. Mature interest. OMGGG that Yeah, okay. That sounds promising. Good day, sirs and madams. What should I call my bathroom? 21 FNJ. Is that... Is that really what I'm going to call it? Really? <laughs> oh my. Um, the loo. No. We have no idea. Well, I do. That's what it's called. Just... <sighs> Thanks, Internet. AOL, you did it. Somebody replied, Good answer if he's Eng- Oh. Good answer, Lily, is he's English. Do they think I'm English because I said sirs and madams? Haha, I meant from England, she says. Love to chat 79. That is. Yes, I'm just so extremely British. Can't you tell? Uh. Oh, wait, we still need a drink stand. I gotta go back to this chat and ask. Because I gotta name this drink stand something. I do appreciate it. Now, what is a good name for a rather fancy soda and or carbonated beverage of your choosing? <laughs> I don't know why I'm asking like this, but I guess it's better than asking like there's a hole in my head or something. What are they going to say? What am I going to call my soda joint? Is it just going to be like Coke? Nice looking man for sure. <laughs> I don't know if I want to drink that. You like very large? Wink? That sounds like a good... Good name for a soda joint. <laughs> Do I dare? It... it just... I, I guess because they only have large sizes? Just... I don't know. Fine. Alright. That's what I have, that's what I have. Can't fight. They say. Oh wait, the soda drink is already called 22F. Oh. Oh! I named these backwards. I named... Okay, this... What is this called? 21FNJ. Okay, so this is 21FNJ. That's the bathroom. Whoops, this needs to be named. You like very large winky face. And this needs to be named 21FNJ. There we go. Perfect. AOL picks another winner. And I now seem to have closed out of that AOL chat room in a good time, because now they're talking about the sizes of their manhood. 
And I need more propaganda for this park. Ad campaign. For WTF, I guess. Free entry. Alright. Free drinks. Oh wait, I still need to name this after someone. Handyman 1. Um... What do I call Handyman 1? Let's go to the chat. I think Holden Champ 2005 is sending naked pictures of himself off to random people. So I'm gonna call him the Handyman. Good job. You're now Hold'em Champ 2005. Have fun. Sent me an email on AOL. I probably won't check at the moment. My god, look at the line for this. I don't know what it is about log flumes, but everyone always rides them. Also, I have no idea why everybody looking to meet up on AOL is from New Jersey. It's a little bit sketchy. Just the tad. Also, why do I... Why don't I have the green arrow on this? I thought I would have the more guests coming in because I have all that propaganda. Hmm. Oh well, whatever. It'll work out eventually. Here comes the rush now, and these two guys, who are exactly the same. This is actually a really dumb idea. I don't know if I've mentioned that yet. But I suppose an idea is better than having no ideas, so... I'll go with it. We do need a new ride. How about... Eh, how about another one of these? Uh, one of these? One of these. That one. Custom design. I might have to build it down low. I'm running out of space up at the top. Sketchy tone, Tim. You know it. This is possibly the worst idea for a theme park in the history of mankind. I do not dispute you on that one. History of Mankind has been full of a bunch of great ideas, and it is my job to come up with the bad ones. And if you're just tuning in, I'm playing some Roller Coaster Tycoon, and we are naming all of the rides based on things that people say we should name them from old AOL chat rooms. Uh, if that doesn't make any sense to you, just keep watching for a little bit and you will see what I mean. Got a Windows 98 virtual machine up with AOL 7.0 talking to people on old AOL chat rooms, and yes, they still somehow exist. And there are still a good amount of people in them, oddly enough. And they're all very, very sketchy. And normally the names we get aren't very good. Like the Log Flume, that is just called WTF, because that's the only thing people suggested. Where am I going to put this? Where does this even connect to? Where did I start that from? Oh, there it is. I wonder if we can make that. Oh, well, maybe. I 
And down, down, flat? No. Down, down? Turn. Uh, no. Down, down. Less down. Then turn, then turn. Little turn. Okay, nice. And I'm gonna get rid of that and put some more station platform stuff. Great. And in case you're wondering what's happening in that chat room, they're all still talking about meeting up with each other through glorious, passionate AOL encounters. Would not recommend them, by the way. A little bit dodgy. Underground view, turn you off, make you go that way? No. Don't go that way. That doesn't help anybody. I want you to go up. Uh. Eh. This path will make sense somehow, just not to me. Just a line that just goes around. And you know what I should have done first? I should have tested it. I don't even know if it works. I guess we will find out. I feel like AOL encounters are sketchier than Craigslist meetups. I don't know why, but it's just a gut feeling I have. Oh, is that going to connect? No, it's too high. However, this might. Yes, it does. That looks like it's going to work. It might just be a little bit too fast. Eh, whatever. Did I update Firefox recently? Yes. Ouch. Bang my arm. Uh, I think I'm on the new version. Whatever that is. Probably on like 50 by now. And exits. Uh, I gotta clean up some of that barf. Hold em, champ 2005. Go for it. activity outside. Oh well. That's College Park. Do, 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 do. Can't build that way. I feel like having a ride that has an entrance on one side of the park and then an exit all the way on the other side is not a good idea. Which is why I'm doing it anyway. Alright, save that. Save, save... High, high, and medium. So charge five bucks for this. Run over to AOL and get a name. Also, we have more than half the guests we need in under half the time. That's pretty good. If I already save, I already saved. I'll save again. And over to AOL. I need a name for this coaster. And let me find a chat room that isn't quite as sketchy. Any ladies from New York want to chat? Oh, I'm not a lady. I'm also not from New York. Oklahoma to eat your puss. Uh. Oh, I'm immature. Interest. Whoops. That would be why. Cracking the f up. That sounds good. Wait, wait, they're trying to decide on a name. This is perfect. I'm just in time. What's the name? Tell me. This is great timing on my part for once. What's the name? What's the name? Project Chicks Uncut. <laughs> oh. Um. I. Uh, 
that's that's what it is. That's what it is. I hereby W Project Chicks Uncut. <laughs> Ocarina, could you cap down? I'm actually holding shift. <laughs> My cap is down. Or off for whatever you do with a caps lock button. So, chat, what's up? If anything, how's life? I ask that every time. I did the online date, still hasn't been fixed. That's because we don't have a mechanic. Now we do. And our mechanic needs a name. And I'm gonna call him... Angel smiles a lot. That could be you. Sounds like a name for a mechanic, right? Angel smiles a lot. Actually, Angel smills a lot. There's no E in that. Hmm. I did get a message. It's somebody who made a giant... thing. <laughs> I don't remember actually who this is. I think it might have actually been somebody on my buddy list before. Also, I don't remember if I've ever mentioned, but I say the word actually a lot. And I don't know why. It's It's been something that I think I've always sort of said a lot since I was a kid. Just accidentally. It just kind of got into my speech and planted itself there. I'm gonna waste all my money on propaganda. Godspeed. But, uh, why are these people running out? Tired of waiting online? Litter here is really bad! Yeah, well, don't throw it on the ground. Okay, well, we only need really 600, not even 600, um, like less than 400 guests at this point. And, um, we're almost there. Only need 1,200 guests to beat the scenario. The theme is not the internet. The theme is essentially going right on to old school AOL. Right there. And asking the internet what they think the name should be. A bunch of random AOL people. As you can see, the results have been less than positive. <laughs> um, Such as 21FNJ and Project Chicks Uncut. I did the online date, and you like very large winky face. That's essentially AOL chat rooms in a nutcase. Nutshell. Well, there are plenty of nutcases on this. What scenario is this? This is Coaster Canyon, I want to say. I think. How can I make this more entertaining for you? What can I do to make this the best stream ever? Or at least something mildly more interesting than watching paint dry. Put on some music, but I can't. I'm not allowed to play copyrighted music. Or else, or else. It's so bad at talking. Or else, Justin TV will kill me. 
and then I won't be able to make my three dollars a month screaming, screaming, streaming, streaming coasters. Somebody wants to know if I'm going to chat in the chat. I let me just go over there. There, you going to chat? Uh, whoops, I just blocked off that. This is really weird to keep track of because there's all these screens going on. There's like the AOL chat room, the Justin TV chat room on one screen, the Justin TV chat room on another screen, the game, and my increasing inability to speak correctly. All are working against me. Oh, I got the reverse Woe Belly roller coaster. That's one of my favorites. But at the moment, I think I need more staff because everyone's complaining about the garbage. And instead of doing the smart thing, like putting garbage cans down, I'm just going to build more janitors. Construct additional janitors. There. And now I need names for these guys. So... I'm going to pop on to AOL and see what I can take for nicknames. You're in a chat. No. Alright. Um, I gotta find a couple names for these handymen. Mature interest. Oh, I was already in this one. Military? No one's in personal finance. That's kind of why we're in this whole economic situation. Movies. No one's there. Movie. No, music. No one's there. News. End war on middle class. Characters welcome. I'm a character. People, human trafficking, human trafficking. There's no K. No one's in pets. Social, oh, SoCal over 40. I'll go there. I need a name. I'm not calling you, Magooey. Well, I guess that means the first guy is going to be called Magooey. Magooey! Why not? I'm just gonna pick the first three guys. You, pink PJs. Great. Who else? Big Papa 310. <laughs> These are some of the sketchiest names. Why are my pathways so broken? What are you people doing? Why are you walking back and forth there? Most untidy park in the country. <laughs> Blame me. Okay, uh, everyone's horribly confused and I don't know why. Does this not connect? Yeah, it does. Uh, I suppose I should probably make a pathway that goes all the way across. Because I feel like everyone is lost. Uh, do, 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 no. This is not how you make a theme park, by the way. This is really badly planned. Which is a nice way of saying not planned at all. Hopefully that'll help. I don't think it's gonna help. What do you people want? Why do you keep walking back and forth? I can't find Project Chicks Uncut. That's right there. I eh, wonder what's happening outside. Oh, wow, it's on a barf there. Oh, my god. There's barf there and everyone's walking in it back and forth. You know, I'm not gonna like doing this, but maybe I should just attach this bit of pathway to the queue line. Which is going to kind of ruin the queue line, but... As long as it fixes the general flow of stuff, it might be better. 
Now I just have, whoops, use, didn't mean that. Oh god, what have I done? I just sent an innocent man to fall to his death. There we go. And I need to make all this just plain old pathway. And my park rating is going really far down. It almost seems like it's time to get a bunch of pandas in here. Does that make people happy yet? What are they thinking? Um... I did the online date, is there... Oh. Litter, crowded, hungry, thirsty. Oh, alright. It's not so bad. I thought they were all saying they're lost. Oh, man. I need to make a bunch more handymen. But... I don't really want to name them all. I'll just make a few. That should be enough. My army of barf moppers. Night then, Marty LZ. Marty rules. I can never say your name right, and I always end up stumbling over it every time. Oh well. Just looks like a bunch of ants walking back and forth at this point. There's no space for anyone. However, there is plenty of space for the barf, which seems to be the issue at the moment. Uh, can I clean that up? Maybe I'll try. Just a tad. So, guys. Let's hear your AOL horror stories. I'm all for having a conversation. Because I'm not sure if I'm being very interesting. <laughs> Bloody shamrocks broke. Eh, big deal. Oh, we almost have uh, 1,200 guests. That's pretty good. We're essentially done. Except the scenario goes on for another hour and a half. Just keeps going. I want to build more things, but... Hmm. Observation tower? Sure. This sounds like a thing people want, right? Can I build that? No, I can. That looks really unsafe, but sure. Do I know what time it is and what a terrible idea this is? Ah, uh, it's 2.30 a.m. and it's an awful idea. And yes, I'm aware of that. Uh, you shouldn't really come to the stream if you don't expect to have your mind blown in respects to the horribly dumb things I do. I don't really play games correctly. <laughs> this is not where you go if you want things to make any sort of sense. And I also need to name... that. I need to name this observation tower. Tower 1 is not a good name. Let's check what AOL has to say. Hey, hockey. Yeah, go away. Politics. Romance? Romantic attorneys. I like Phoenix Wright too, but not that way. Tarot card special interest. Uh, how about fantasy roleplay? I'm gonna ask what a good name for an observation tower is. If you had an observation tower, what would you call it? Just, you know, pause all your sex for one minute. I just need to get this question asked.
What do you think, sexy little bunny or Jersey Shore dude five? Or perhaps you, yummy Cali girl. <laughs> this is quite pars parsibly, quite possibly the last question these people are thinking of. Anyone? And any thoughts? What about you, Steffi GF22? Awkward silence. The tower. You know what? Fantasy roleplay is not working out for me. Perhaps my wife wants other men will yield more success. If my wife had an observation tower, what would she call it? There. Perfect. Have to custom tailor it to their own interests. Hi, ladies. What? <laughs> my name says boy. It's not Ocarina Lady. Or is it? Just, just call it Hi, ladies. <laughs> oh, you're right, tennis guy. Not using pink bullet comic sans. I should have known. Hi, ladies is not a very good name. I must admit. I love when I go into a chat. People just immediately start beefing. I don't know why I find that so gratifying. I'm just like some horrible plague upon AOL. I like to accept, fine. I know, PK Punk. <laughs> <laughs> why do they always want to know if I'm from New Jersey? Every time. The cocks are patient. <laughs> Oh dear. Uh, do I do it? I really don't want to. <laughs> I. I'm going to regret this, but fine. <sighs> just just know this is this is not by choice. <laughs> I'll put the question mark at the end. And now we never speak of that again. Ever again. Weirdest thing about AOL is that everyone thinks I'm from New Jersey. And going into the boys and dads room had like three different guys instant messaging me asking if I'm from New Jersey. I mean, it's great to be popular, just maybe not that way. I am from New Jersey, yes. Tim, you are smart. Uh, I think you have the wrong guy. Oh, and apparently the stream has passed 410,000 viewers. That's a lot of people. Thank you, guys. You are pretty awesome for watching. And putting up with whatever I'm doing at 2 in the morning. Why do so many people want to ride the car ride? Pulling an entire... It doesn't even list the G's on it. I'm assuming zero. Okay.
Okay, um... Hmm. Always seems to be really weird with viewers on Justin TV. Like, the number will spike up. If, it, if the number spikes up by something like 20 or 30 or 40 or more viewers, it actually means the viewers are decreasing. And I can never understand why, the, or, uh, why that happens. It's like it gets your hopes up and then crushes them for some bizarre reason. I wonder if that's a glitch on everyone's channel. Also, I have all the propaganda running, right? Yeah, I do. Oh well, whatever. What do the guests want? It's too crowded here. Litter's bad. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna make a bunch of pandas. This will save the day! How about 50? Eh, 51. We'll make it a nice round number. Which is not actually 51, but whatever. Secret to this game is that if you're uh, too lazy to fix the problems of your park, just make a bunch of pandas and suddenly everyone is happy. It's amazing that I haven't been hired by theme parks yet. With brilliant ideas like these. I don't know, I feel like there's a lot of missed potential there. probably be majoring in theme park design and panda placement. Also, by the way, I'm not going to name all of these pandas individually. That's a little bit too much effort. Just need to keep the guests from leaving. There. 51 pandas. And if that doesn't make him happy, nothing will. Oh, nobody wants to ride this. Don't judge me about the name on that thing, please. <laughs> the naming convention here for all the rides and some of the park staff is from essentially old AOL chat rooms, which I have open in a window right over here. So I build a thing or make a new park guy and head over to AOL and essentially see what the people in the chat room say I should name it. And, well, I don't think they expect to be asked that question because the results aren't very good. But, um... It's an idea. <laughs> I guess. Also, everyone on AOL seems to be from New Jersey and is looking to hook up. And being from New Jersey and having used AOL for a good period of my time on the internet, I have to say, this is a new trend because it wasn't like that when I was on AOL. I guess everyone in New Jersey is just really desperate now. Yeah, Eternal Beloved, you're probably right. Well, I have effectively stopped the decline in park rating. Ah, uh, restraint stuck open. No big deal. Why don't I make a math the eh. Why don't I make a math themed park? Um I don't get along with math very well. It just never has been a thing that really clicked with me. I tried, but I don't know, I just feel like my brain isn't wired that way. I don't even know if that's really a legitimate excuse? I don't know. Are, are people born necessarily with like a natural tendency to be good at math, or if you spend enough time staring at a textbook, you can figure it out? 
It's like that movie, Stand and Deliver, if anybody's ever seen that. Anyway, back to the coasters. Less about, uh, amateur neuroscience. So many people. Uh, I want to build something. I want to build something big that I will regret. Reverse Woe Belly Roller Coaster. That sounds really expensive. It's perfect. Do do do. Oh, this doesn't need a lot of start platforms, if I remember correctly. All right. Yeah, that's the thing. And go! Oh, no, just kidding. Does not work. There we go. Now, let's try it. Oops. Gotta get that flat in the way. Does that go up? Oh, wow. It takes a lot of space. Huh. Does that go up? No. Does that go up? Yes. Alright, so let's just build this backwards. Sure. That works. Down, 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 down. Um, hmm. I can't really fit both of them? No, I can't. Okay. Uh, exit's gotta go on that side, then. Or the other side? I don't know. One of the sides. Somewhere. Could I name a roller coaster the Pintmobile? <laughs> Why? Do I dare ask? Okay, cool. I connected. And time to stick the exit onto something. If I can manage. Let's see. Hmm. There we go. Will this work? Oh, no, wait. It won't work. It'll actually fly right off. Whoops. I totally landed right in the tracks, though. I don't see the issue. Do, do, do. Too high. Eh. Can I call everything in the park butts? That's unoriginal, even for me. Is that enough? Let me see. Don't fly off. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, cool. Now we need to name this coaster, so... Off to AOL we go. I'm gonna get out of this one. Uh, open-minded mom. If she's so open-minded, she'll have a good idea for this coaster, right? Hello, open-minded mom. What should I call my roller coaster? Any fine men here? Not me. Sexy Jasmine 22 with three X's to make it extra sexy. Also with three X's and extra. Anyone have any ideas? Anyone have any ideas? Ah. Pronunciation of words is not great tonight. Probably should have drank more coffee. Any open-minded moms? Anyone? 
It's your chance to name a roller coaster and be part of something great. And I don't think anyone knows. Go get coffee. It's 3.30 in the morning. Or 2.30 in the morning. If I were to get coffee now, I would never sleep. I've only been drinking tea for like the past week or so. I don't know why. Come on, someone here has to tell me. Do I just call the thing any fine men in here? I mean, if, if that's what I need to call it, that's what I need to call it if I don't get any other names. Hmm. Alright, well, I, I guess the woe belly is now going to be called any fine men in here. What's the theme? Uh, I'm going to old AOL chat rooms and picking names out of the chats. <laughs> any fine men in here? No. Just me. There's a Gabe Newell joke in there somewhere. Tim seems like a fine man. Well, you've got the wrong one. I really wish you could speed up time in this game. Like, we, we've essentially beaten this scenario, by the way. 1,200 guests by year three. We have 1,400. It's midway through year two. Plenty of time left to go. I could probably just leave it like this and go to bed. But that wouldn't be very interesting. Assuming it's interesting as it is now. Oh man, I had entire streams where I just messed around on old AOL stuff. That was... something. <laughs> That's essentially what I did, but I was really stuck for ideas. I'm just watching this thing go up and down. Um, how about more ad campaigns? Because I think they ended. Free... drinks! Oh, I don't have anywhere near $300. On the holy roller broke. Hmm. Must finish ad campaigns. All the pandas are sucking my money dry. All of them. All 51. I've never heard of Ski Resort Tycoon. I don't know if it's any good or not. Oh, now there's this mass exodus of guests. Come back! No! Hmm. I do have Farming Simulator. I've played quite a bit of Farming Simulator. The Ambulance Simulator got kind of boring because it was more or less the same thing every time. And, uh, never played Ski Resort. Never even heard of it if it's a game. I should use Omegle next time. I could. I just have a plain old Omegle chat room, although it would be more or less the same as this idea, just with a lot more ASL named things. And, uh, not American Sign Language. It's almost three in the morning, jeez. It's a stream that never ends. Ever. And I don't have enough money to make anything. 
I would like to build more, I just don't have any money for it. I can't really come up with anything to talk about at the moment. I don't know, what do you guys want to talk about? Thanks again for watching, by the way. As I struggle to come up with things to do. Build another park. God, I can't have two at once. Do I have hedge mazes? Oh, wait, my rating's going down. Don't do that. I need my rating. Rating, come back! I just want to hear the sound of you as I drift into sleep. Thanks! I think. Any fine men in here? Let's get an ad campaign for that one. <laughs> Fire some pandas. Uh... I don't think I can do that. I don't, I don't think I'm allowed to fire pandas. If it isn't part of the game's code to prevent me from firing pandas, it's part of my personal code. Just want to buy this ad campaign, but I don't have enough money yet. Why do people spend so much money for this log flume? It's really not that good. At all. Also, I don't have Zoo Tycoon. I've got a bunch of games, but usually not any of the ones everyone tells me to play. So bit of a conundrum there. Oh, I did the online date broke down. Oh, I'm never gonna have enough for this. Just go halfway, I guess. Can I do a thousand dollars? Maybe. The money keeps going up. Just might have a shot. Actually, maybe I can even get six weeks if I wait a little bit. Hmm. Nah, I'll just do it at a thousand, just to be safe. In case I go bankrupt in the next hour. And knowing me, that is a very, very real possibility. I will play Agricultural Simulator 2012 next week, I think. Uh, I've heard the original Fallout is free. Uh, I don't know if I'd like it. Not really sure. I never played the third one. Somebody bought me. I feel bad. It's one of many games that people have bought me and I have never played. Hmm. It's just making me money. Yeah, it is. Guests are complaining about the amount of litter in your park. Well, too bad. We're working on it. Hmm. Man, that Justin TV viewer count is flying all over the place. Oh, now I can get the reverse return table for my log flume. I don't know what that is. And I'm not about to tear down the log flume and fix it to find out. It's a little bit too much effort for me, I feel. It's 
especially since it's almost three in the morning. I just want to end this scenario. I've, I've effectively beaten it at this point. Now it's just a matter of waiting it out. Seems to be the trend with a lot of these playthroughs. I'm gonna build a pizza stand. And I'm gonna put it right here. And I'm gonna hop onto AOL and come up with a name for this pizza stand. What say you on AOL? Fantasy roleplay. I think I was already there and I got kicked out. Eh, let's go to the created by people connection. Uh, special interests. Let's ask the people on Born Again Online what they think a good pizza would be called. What is a name for a good pizza? There's no question mark there. It's a statement. More than it is a question. Just sort of saying it to the wind and hoping somebody picks up on it and gives me an answer. I don't think unhappy is a word that does him justice. That doesn't do my pizza justice either. Trisha. <laughs> I guess... I, I guess that would work. Steven, she cybers. Oh, so she's like everyone else on AOL. I'm just going to call it Trisha because... I... I don't think I could ignore just how in your face whatever that is is. I would cyber BB. BB is hot. Well, I think that's about my cue to leave. There. Now we have Trisha. Trisha's unhappy pizza. Eh, just Trisha. She is the pizza. God, I built that pizza stall. It is essentially saving my park from utter destruction. Oh God, what am I talking about anymore? <laughs> my brain is so fried right now. So, so very fried. Hmm. So, video games. How about them? Oh, and it's 2.43 in the morning. And I'm going to throw out my generic. Consider following the stream and or my Twitter account to keep updates on stream and junk and it doesn't really matter. I'm just saying it for the sake of saying it. So I could be like everyone else and rate, comment, subscribe and favorite. It, it really helps me out and whatever else people say on the internet. I don't know. My brain is kind of turned off. I'm just staring at this window waiting for these three years to be over. Video games are interesting things. What if I fell asleep during the stream? Uh, I don't think I would. Also, don't follow the official subreddit, because it's dumb. I don't need a subreddit. I don't do anything to put on a subreddit. I don't know why you even made one. I'm not that interesting, believe me. I just play coasters. Just 
It's raining in your parade. <laughs> I kind of broke the subreddit formatting. Okay, well, let's see here. I mean, everything's more or less doing all right. I just have to wait here for another hour or so. And then, the scenario will be done! And the day will be saved. You know what you guys should download? Go check out Sonic 2 HD, which finally kinda came out. Actually, no, I already mentioned that last time I streamed. But check it anyway, why not? It's still cool. It's only out in the form of the first two acts of the game, of Emerald Hill, but it looks really neat and it plays really well. And those are two really great acts. But it was the only axe you're going to get in that so far. Anyway, coasters. Night and Jay Lee, 1998. Thank you for watching. Sixteen hundred guests, almost. What I wouldn't give to have a fast-forward button in this game. Because it seems like every time I stream it, we always get the uh, scenarios done. Really, really quickly. And then... You just sort of end up sitting here. Fidgeting about. Now we'll make another little pathway here, I guess, to help alleviate some of the traffic. Now everyone's horribly confused as to where to go. It's like I've just torn down the Berlin Wall. Everyone's going across and mingling. You know, why don't we make another one? I'll we'll just go crazy with pathways. There. Why not? That's not a bad idea. Clearly. Just little pathways of people running around everywhere. Campaign for free entry... oh god. All my campaigns have ended. However, I can't afford many of them. Can't afford that one. However, I can't afford this one. But I would rather do the free one instead. There we go. How about free rods on that? Why not? And then I don't have enough money until I can build up about 1,200. So much mumble. Ouch. <laughs> Sorry, that was probably really loud on the uh, microphone. Kind of hit my leg on the desk. Ignore that. Where's my mechanic? Oh, there he is. Do your job! It's almost done. It sounded like I turned the mic off. Oh. Just banged my, uh, calf on the desk somehow. Not recommended. Let's connect all the pathways in really, really silly and pointless ways. I don't think this will help anybody, but you know, whatever. Oh, now I'm broke. 
No, I can never afford that ad campaign. So, apparently a good deal of the chat is naked. That's good to know. I guess. <laughs> I feel like building these pathways just made everyone more confused. This park is really crowded. A bit of a design flaw. But... Too late to really do anything with it now. Oh, great, now I have classical and Roman beaming objects. Quite possibly the best set of items in the game. Oh. They're just these, never mind. Have you ever wanted your own Colosseum? Well, I don't even have any space for it. Great. That's beautiful. Perfect. That's not a waste of money at all. How about another one? No, I can't. Just, just Colosseums. That was a Colosseum in the wild, now I'm broke. Well, good thing I invested all my money in those Roman Colosseums. They're safer than banks. Tim does read the chat. In fact, I'm reading it right now! I'm always reading the chat. You really feel like you're in ancient Rome now. Oh, well, I aim for authenticity. Always do. Hmm. Well, the scenario is uh, still going, in case you were wondering. In case there was any sort of anything unsure about that. God, I've... I've got, like, nothing to say at the moment. Nothing terribly interesting. It's like, yeah, it's it, the coasters. And the, the AOL chat room that I'm looking at is kind of crazy. And they're just all yelling at each other at this point. Like this one guy, Tears of the Cross, in this AOL chat room, just screaming in all caps, in italics, asking everyone if they have AIDS. See? Ta-da! That's the internet. Welcome aboard. It's like, I, I look at the AOL chat, and certain things are happening, and then I look back at our chat, it's like, oh wait. No one's talking about that. That's the other chat. It's the other wacky chat room. I can't believe I pay for AOL either. In fact, I don't. Um... My parents still use it. And I had an account before we got high-speed internet at home. And I still have it, and it still works. My parents still pay for AOL. And my account just still keeps going. So... 
Ta-da! And <laughs> now you know. And yes, it's a total waste, and AOL is absolute garbage. Man, it's still September. How is it still September? September year two. There's more than an hour left in this scenario. God, it'll be done like after four in the morning. <laughs> it just never ends, man. It just never ends. Oh, man. Thank you for sticking around anyway. Just go to bed. But then what happens to the game? I just realized there is somebody on Twitter with the name of Martin Pogodine who has the face from Martin from Virtual Corporation. And that is a great account. Even the background and everything is from the game. <laughs> that is fantastic. Anyway, back to this. Leave it on while you sleep. That would be kind of pointless. Time for an air hockey match. <laughs> you know, speaking of that game, I actually made more progress in it. Because... Oops. Now the screen sh the uh, screensaver on my Windows 98 machine is kicking in. And now it's off. Alright. Night then NN44SS. But I actually made more progress in that game. Because when we left off... What they were telling me to do was four things before I could become president. I had to... I've already forgotten two of them. But two of the things I had to do that I didn't do on stream were find out who killed Martin. Or not Martin. Find out who killed the guy, Chris Cordy, I think his name was, in the beginning. And find out who the Mad Hatter is. Well, I... Oh, no, wait. I already found out the killer. That was with Martin. What I had to do was keep an eye on one dude from another company and find out who the Mad Hatter was. So what I did was I kept an eye on that guy. And it involves using a voice command that isn't on the list of ones you can normally say. And it turns out one of the dudes is from the other company. And he was apparently sexually harassing a hologram, according to the game. And then I charged him with that crime. I charged him with other crime and then they arrested him and then I won I didn't win but I knocked off that one requirement so then the only thing I had to do after that was find the Mad Hatter and the game wouldn't let me do that so what I ended up doing was going through all the files and going through the AVI files on the disk and the Mad Hatter is somebody called Leslie Plunk and how do I know that because one of the people in one of the other companies tells you that um I found the AVI file that essentially says the Mad Hatter is this person, and I know who that person is. That's the person from another company that if you go and talk to, says essentially to get the hell out of his office. And I feel like, like I, I ask him something, and he says, you know, well, get the hell out of here. And that logically follows if you watch the AVI files on the disc, you know, uh, I can tell you who the Mad Hatter is, meet me at the club, now get the hell out of here. And now he only says, get the hell out of here. Which means I feel like I already got or activated the event where I'm supposed to meet him at the club later on. But the thing is that every time I go to the club, he's not there. So, I know who the Mad Hatter is supposed to be. And I know who's supposed to tell me. I just don't know how to make him tell me. And I have pulled aside my friend who actually has that game on a disc and has it with him in his dorm room um, to help figure this out, and he has no idea. So one day we can beat that game, but at the moment I'm kind of stuck. 
and I don't know if it's because I'm doing something wrong, or if the game is just broken. It's one of these things where you really can't tell because nothing works. Anyway, something about Roller Coaster Tycoon. I forgot that is still going. Just sort of zoning out every so often onto something that I haven't been staring at for the past few hours. Somebody else actually owns that game, yes. Virtual Corporation. I would not recommend playing it. It's really bad. So anyway, I've been staring at that one corner of the screen for far too long. Let's get some propaganda running. There we go, an ad campaign for the Holy Roller. Good. And it's off. Never really got into a lot of superhero anything. So I wouldn't be able to have a park like that. Wouldn't have enough material to go with. Just naming everything. We're not naming ad campaigning something. Virtual Corporation was rather painful. <laughs> it was interesting to play, but I don't know. Never ends. Never ever ends. That is the curse of the Virtual Corporation. It was a stream. I wouldn't know if I would say it was one of the best. But it was a stream. It was something. Oh man, it's three in the morning. It's three in the morning. Oh god. I'm gonna go and get a drink quickly. Because I've been talking for quite some time. And I'm going to go get some of the drink because my throat is kind of dry. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. In fact, I'm just going to leave the mic on. You can probably feel it. Anyway, something about video games. Well, I see the park hasn't blown up yet. That's good. Always good to see. Hmm. So, what do you guys want to talk about? If anything. Oh, looks like my phone battery died. Oh well, whatever. I think, however, I didn't save the progress I was making on Mother 3, so now I'm going to have to go back and do that again. Oh well, whatever. Oh, apparently the the red thing made it to the top of the yellow thing while I was gone. That's good. So if my phone battery died, then it booted up again, then it loads, then it says the battery died. All right, whatever. I would love to put the AOL chat up on the side, but there just isn't a lot of space. Unlike the IRC chat, I can't really adjust the width of the chat itself. 
um, you know, like I can't adjust the width of the chat. With the IRC chat, I can make it as thin or as wide as I need it to be, so I can fit it on the screen, but the AOL one's either going to be really small or really, well, truncated. And like, half the sentences are going to be mixing. Missing. Missing. Not mixing. Doesn't make any sense. <clears throat> Uh, no, I wasn't playing Mother 3 while doing it. I was, um... I had a save in progress on my phone from earlier in the day. Wasn't playing it while I was streaming this. I can only focus on so many things at one time. And I have your chat room, the AOL chat room, all the XSplit stuff flashing about, and this game, which you really can't seem to hurt at this point. It just kind of works. Nothing can really go wrong with the park, I feel, unless something just crashes. And, you know, it seems like a very unlikely thing at this point. So I'm going to spend all my money on Roman Colosseums instead of doing something smart like paying down the debt. Look at that. That sounds like a great use of money. In fact, there's nothing even out here. But I've changed that. There are now Colosseums out here. That is not pointless at all. Nope. <laughs> Nothing dumb about this. You know what would be really cool if I had the right coaster type for it? That one coaster that goes vertically up and down. I want to have one of those. Where I can make it go up and down through each of these individually. That would be cool. And pointless. But cool, I think. It would at least be something of a challenge. Because a lot of these scenarios really aren't that tough anymore. If you ever play Roller Coaster Tycoon, the secret to making a good park is essentially two things. One, get a lot of propaganda. Every time you can afford it, get propaganda. Get all the propaganda at once. Step two, if your park rating's on the decline and more janitors haven't fixed it and it's something like you need more pathways, get a bunch of pandas, problem solved. You're done. Step three, there is no step three. You just keep doing step two, adding more pandas if things don't work. Propaganda and pandas, yes. That is the story of my soon-to-be-written memoir. Propaganda and pandas. Story of Monotone Tim. Proper Panda. Hmm. What is going on on the internet? Anything interesting? Anything all unique? Any dumb internet drama playing out anywhere? Also, there's my Twitter for some strange reason. Anybody cares? I like seeing numbers go up. <laughs> That's about it. You don't really have to follow. I'm just throwing it in there for the heck of it. Am I still playing? Yeah, I am. It's three in the morning, I'm on year three, I've been done with the scenario for about two hours now, but we're still going. Just because we need to get that final end scene. When's the next marathon? Eventually, probably June.
ideally June, provided everything goes well and stuff gets planned and my house doesn't explode. What's even happening? Lick's body hiss hisses at Tim. Uh, it's, it's 3.10. I... <laughs> I don't know. I can't even read any of this at this point. Like, every time I try to read something, I, I just stumble over it. It's like I'm drunk on exhaustion. If that's even a thing. Oh, speaking of that! Oh man, my... If my phone didn't die, I would read this email to you. In fact, no, I'm gonna read this email to you anyway. I'll just have to load it up on the other computer. Now, I live in... Okay, I'm from the University of Maryland at the moment. And... I live in a really... Wow, somebody's actually in the... AOL chat room that I'm in and is telling me to add more pandas. That is impressive. Anyway, um, okay, so I'm in the uh, University of Maryland. It's a great school, love the campus, and I would highly recommend it. Anyway, I also happen to live in probably the dumpiest, one of the dumpiest residence halls imaginable. And that's okay with me. In fact, it's so okay with me, I opted to live here, same room, next year, because I get a single, and it's a big single, and I should save because my park rating is starting to go down and if I need to fix it I would like to have a place where I might have a chance at fixing it. But uh... So I live in one of the dumpiest residence halls. I have a single. It's a pretty big single. It also has a built-in bathroom, which is nice. Not a personal bathroom, it's shared with the guys in the adjacent unit, but sharing a bathroom between four dudes is better than sharing a bathroom with the entire floor. So, because I live in the dumpiest residence halls, I, uh, also end up living with a lot of the people who were kicked out of other residence halls because of things like, you know, drinking or academic infractions or things. So we don't necessarily get the world's most... I don't know. I'm trying to pull these emails up, but I think the email client is just frozen. There we go. The world's most, um... I don't know. Desirable, shall we say? Group of people? Um... Wow, this is not loading very fast. So... I'm trying to load this email up. And it's taking a long time. There we go. So... You know, just people, yeah, not necessarily model students. That's, I guess how I can phrase it. So, I just got an email today. Someone in my building, on the floor above mine... Okay, here, here's what the um, email says. While some of you may already be aware, we write to inform you of and seek your assistance in resolving a problem that has been occurring on the sixth floor of this residence hall. It is not our custom to utilize email as means of communicating in this type of information, but the repetitive and irregular nature of this issue calls for us to engage the entire building community. Over the past several weeks, our housekeeping staff has reported to us that they have been finding puddles of urine in the sixth floor elevator lobby while cleaning the public space on that floor. This incident has occurred at least once a week since February. It seems clear that the urine is coming from one or more individuals who are choosing not to relieve themselves in the appropriate location, one of the many restrooms in the residence hall. This behavior seems to be occurring at random, which has made it impossible for us to identify or catch any persons in the act. And then it goes on to a bunch of things about catching people who are doing it, but I find that kind of hilarious and disgusting, but also kind of hilarious because I never go on that floor anyway, but just, like, <laughs> the hell, guys? <laughs> what is your problem? Why don't you just use the toilet? Why would you pee in front of the elevator for two months straight? Who does that? Like, like, really?
Go pee in the fourth floor lobby and try to throw them off the trail. Oh, you're right. I love how it's... It is clear that the urine is coming from one or more individuals. Like, they know. We are writing to request your assistance in finding out who has been urinating on the sixth floor and to prevent these types of incidents from occurring in the future. If you know the person, tell them to stop. If you do not know the person, ask the resident who he is or where he lives. And above all, do not encourage the behavior. <laughs> oh, college. Just do not encourage the behavior, underlined. Also call the campus police. <laughs> that shouldn't be so funny. But it is. Yes, please do not pee in the lobby. Please actually pee inside the elevator. But no, I, I live in a rather dumpy residence hall. So... Oh well. <laughs> I hope you guys are somewhat entertained by that, because I was. I read that this morning and laughed. And it shouldn't be funny, I mean, it should be something that I would be annoyed about because they're peeing in my building, but I just heard that, it's like, could this be any more stereotypically college? Build a new coaster. Yeah, you're right. I, I probably should. I mean, I actually have the money for it now. I don't know what it would be, though. I'm, I'm kind of half awake at this point. As you can tell by my random ramblings. Um... I don't know. Instead of that, I'm just going to spend all my money on ad campaigns to keep up the number of guests. Any fine men in here? Nope. Drinks? Why not? There. Now I don't have money anymore. And the day is saved. Did I get new email? Or was that just all the old ones loading in? Nope, that was the old one. I also have a spam email here that I could read, I guess. Dear Success Marketing, Dear Friend, I thought you would be interested in this product. Breaking news, dot dot dot. If you're struggling to make a full-time income online, this will be the most important website you ever visit. Well, I would like that. I'll just play coasters for the rest of my life. Build a wealth with this great opportunity. Fantastic! It really does work. It doesn't matter if you've never even earned a single cent online before. Just click the link below. You'll never need to work long hours. Best regards, Cynthia Chan, valued member. Great. Thank you, Cynthia Chan. As you say in my email, you are indeed a friend. So, um, no, oh, I have a red arrow here. What happened? Why don't you like me anymore? Why don't you come to my park? It is 3.20 in the morning. I'm still playing Roller Coaster Tycoon, and, uh, according to the internet, people are sort of watching. So, thanks. I appreciate it. How would I fritter my time away if not for the internet? And again, thank you guys for watching. Also, um, XSplit is apparently not going to be free this coming Monday. So if you have XSplit, if you use XSplit, 
and I would highly recommend you do, honestly, because I've used a lot of streaming software, and I feel like it is probably the best stuff I've ever used. They are going to make it pay on Monday, I believe. And if not Monday, the week after. Still going to have a free version. I don't know how it's going to be limited. I think there's going to be a watermark and a couple like, frame rate and resolution things. Or limitations. I don't know how much it... Or I don't remember how much it costs to get the license... I know that I paid the 59 bucks for the premium license for two years because, well, I, I use it a lot. Um, I used to use it when it was called VH Multicam for two years for free, and I figure, you know, they made a good piece of software. Why not? I don't mind. They de uh, nah, nah, I'm gonna try that again. They deserve the money, and I essentially made a few hundred bucks over the summer streaming Roller Coaster Tycoon that I spent on textbooks. So I feel like, you know, if I just run a couple of ads on some streams, I could probably um, cover the cost of XSplit. But, yeah, just a heads up on that in case you didn't uh, know about it. And thanks again for watching and putting up with ads. Maybe not necessarily ads now, haven't really done it. But, um... Over the summer I ran a lot of ads and made a few hundred bucks, which paid for this year's textbooks. Most of them, anyway. Which was very much appreciated. Appreciated. Ah. <laughs> Man. What happened? I used to be able to speak. And then... Something broke. And now I just kind of stumble over everything. <laughs> and make you listen to me stumble over everything. Oh, it's not actually 59 bucks for two years. That's for the pro one that has a couple extra features that I thought I needed, but maybe I don't. You can get the cheap one that's like 39 I think? 39 bucks, I want to say. 39 or 49 it's a little bit less. Did I order Chinese food? Not tonight, actually. I have been working on cutting back, so... I managed to suppress the urge for Chinese food. I've essentially had Chinese food from every place in the area, and you know what? It's all terrible. So, rather than spend money on food, which I know I'm not going to really like, or I will eat and then immediately regret, I'll just not eat it. I'm not actually craving Chinese food. I went through a period today where I thought I wanted it. I looked at the ordering thing had an order ready, and then just didn't do it. Hmm. This is part of the stream where I'm not really even paying attention to the game anymore. I'm just sort of talking. Well, it's not about DC as much as it is people in the College Park area that will deliver to the dorm. And, um... There aren't that many. Well, I mean, there are a good amount, and I've more or less had all of them. Um, let me check. Essentially, every place that has Chinese food here, I have ordered from. And they're all bad. Or at least, not great. What do they have? Shanghai Cafes, okay. Panda is disgusting. Shenyang isn't very good. Golden China isn't that great. Panda China, I don't even remember. I think I got them last year and never got them again. Golden House wasn't great. 
China Golden, I've never heard of. China Cafe wasn't great. Asian Carryout wasn't great. I passed that. There's a handful of others which I have not yet had. It is not Panda Express. It's just Panda. Uh, the, the Chinese food... The Chinese food place... Panda, not Panda Express, literally ripped their icon from the World Wildlife Federation. Also, their food is disgusting and greasy and horrible and all sorts of nasty. So, oh man, my guess is, uh, my guess, my park rating's going down. So don't go there. Not good food. Also, I'm gonna save the park by getting a bunch of handymen. gonna max out the number of servicemen in my park with these handymen. Why not? Everyone's complaining about trash. Well, this will fix it. You see, there are many solutions to any one problem. There's garbage in my park. That could be solved by building a few garbage cans or hiring right about 57 handymen. As you can tell, I like to go for the economic solution or the economical solution, and hire all these guys. Which... I'm sure, in the long run, makes sense. Somehow. I could ask my old roommate, he was a business major. I'm a bio major, and the only thing that I know about money is that you have to write a lot of grant requests and ask for it and that you probably won't get it. Oh, the world of grant writing. Well, the park rating seems to have shot up dramatically. So that's pretty good. Great. And the day is saved. Ta-da! Do I have any trash cans? Ah, uh, not in this park, no. Good night then, whomever is leaving. Where are the hedge mazes? I don't think I have them. Nope. We never invented them yet. Sorry. Keep getting a uh, screensaver for whatever reason on my Windows 98 thing. Oh well. I could probably turn that off. Oh well, um, I don't know, what do you guys want to talk about in the chat? What can I do to be interesting? Well, that's great, airport creator. Glad I could help you with that. Can I show us the whole park? Oh, can I show us? Can you show us the whole park? Yes, I can. Here's the park. The theme of the park is essentially going into a, uh, just, Justin, an AOL chat room, right there, for example, and asking the AOL chats what we should call the coasters. And you can see the results aren't very good. Um, people don't really seem to have very many names in mind. So now we have 21FNJ and I did the online date as names for the coasters. These are the attractions and then here's just a bunch of Greek or uh, Roman Colosseum just sort of floating everywhere. Is it Colosseum? Colosseums. Colosseum. Colosseum? I don't know. It's 3.30 in the morning, and I can't really seem to bring myself to Google that and find the answer. Do 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 Bad campaign, poor particular ride. I'll just do that one. Totally at random. 
How come there are members of the Beach Boys not named Brian Wilson that made bad songs in the 70s? Um, in the 70s, yeah. That's because there's a guy named Mike Love. And when Brian Wilson and his other brothers, Carl and Dennis, were trying to do fancy new things with music, Mike Love wanted to make a bunch of songs about surfing and cars and girls. And even though it was the 70s and he was starting to get kind of old, and the 80s, and the 90s, he still decided to write a bunch of songs about cars and girls and surfing. And it was really bad, and they were all terrible, and it's still really embarrassing. That's why. It's not really the bad as it is just Mike Love. So... Nothing wrong with liking cars and girls, but the thing is that if you're like 50 years old, you might want to take a step back and think, you know, maybe I should be singing about other things. Just... to switch it up a bit. You know, it's... It's kind of like I might not be at the prime age to be singing about college-age girls on beaches with bikinis. I mean, at that point, it's kind of... kind of creepy. At least... to me. Um... cannot say I am a college-age girl in a bikini, so I'm not able to really give you a... reliable opinion on what they may feel, but... I can't imagine they're flattered by a 50-something serenading them. With an especially nasally voice, I might add. Hmm. And I spent entirely too long talking about that. Now I don't know what the chat's on about, so let me go back. Scroll up. Scroll down. All right. Yes, Yun Vaughn, you found my secret. Yeah, but there's nothing wrong with Surfer Girl, but that was made in 1963, I think that album came out. I have it on vinyl floating around here. I think it's actually on my wall. And that was, um... That was a Brian Wilson song, though. I mean, I don't have anything against the early surfing songs. You know, they were what they were, and they captured a time, they captured a moment, and they captured a certain feeling, and that's okay. But when the band is moving on a different direction and evolving with the kind of music that they do, and, you know, you've got this one guy who just doesn't want to let go and just wants to keep making car girl surfing songs, it's kind of, you know, you're, you're throwing a wrench in the operation here, man. Yeah, that's why we never really got another album like Pet Sounds or something. Why do I hate Kokomo? Because it's really bad and cheesy. It represents everything that's wrong with that band. Don't get me started on the Beach Boys, please. I will never shut up. Ever. Fun fact about Charles Manson. Speaking of the Beach Boys, uh -huh. um, Charles Manson actually ended up going to Dennis Wilson of the Beach Boys to collaborate on a song to be released either by him or on their record label or something like that. And he was kind of a nutcase, and they eventually wrote a song, or he wrote a song that was called Cease to Exist which Dennis Wilson then took and re-recorded as Never Learn Not to Love and re-released it on the album in 1968 called 2020. And then Charles Manson found out that um, Dennis essentially stole his song and released it without crediting him and came to his house and had intended to kill him. And I think Dennis Wilson punched him in the nose. And... Yeah, I forget what else happened. But, yeah, fun fact. I also heard the Sons of the Beatles might join together and form a band, and honestly, I feel like it's not going to be very good. But, 
Oh well. How's the AOL theme working? Well, it's working great. 21FNJ is doing really well, just as is any fine men in here. I did the online date, and you like very large winky face. Gotta say. It's, it's great. And our handyman, Big Papa 310, and Hold'em Champ 05, and Pink PJs 345, and they're doing a great job at keeping the park spick and span. <laughs> it was kind of a dumb idea. Just a bit. Just a little bit. But, uh... I don't know, what's the point of the internet? What good is the internet if I cannot share my dumb ideas with the world? And some Beach Boys trivia that you may or may not actually care about. Jeez, according to Twitter, I made 4,763 tweets. What did I have to say that many times? It's kind of... a lot. Oh man, Egyptian! Egyptian. <laughs> Egyptian! Streaming. Stream! <laughs> I can't... I can't make words. I am at the point where I can't speak and everything's funny. Egyptian theming objects. That's what I meant to say. Now I can put pyramids in my coliseums. Oh no, I can't. Or can I? Let me see. Can I put these in them? I can. Now I can have little square things inside my little circle things. Great. I would say that's a fantastic use of my money. Egyptian theming objects, not to say Egyptian streaming objects. That's that's not a thing. That's the result of me being tired. Yeah, the park rating's alright. Yeah, super authentic. It's just the inner Coliseum. And let me save this here. Alrighty. I don't know if I got quieter. Maybe I did. Did I say I wanted to drown 2,000 people one day? No. I've drowned 4,400 people at once in this game. I wanted to get it to 5,000, which isn't really that hard. I just have to run a bunch of bad campaigns for that one park that I already have with the 4,400 people. And that's not difficult, it's just time-consuming, because you have to sit over it and watch it and make sure the ad campaigns never run out. Which is doable, but I don't know if anybody would want to watch that. <sighs> Sorry. I'm trying not to yawn. I'm sure you don't want to hear it. But it's 3.38 in the morning! What am I doing with my life? Yes, I'm still on the park. It's a three-hour scenario, and I beat it in the first 45 minutes, but it doesn't end until the three hours are done, so I have to keep doing it. Which is to say, I just stare at it like it's a giant glorified digital ant park. Ant farm park thing. <laughs> oh man, what happened to commentary? It seems to have died. Tomorrow is Saturday, then I have my, um, I have my radio show to do. SimCity 4 or Rayman Origins? Uh, SimCity 4 crashes all the time for me on multiple computers, so I don't think it's my computer being the problem. I think it's the game just being all iffy. Rayman Origins look... <laughs> Rayman, with an N, Origins, also with an N, looks pretty fun. 
Also looks pretty... pretty, really. Some spiffy 2D animation they got. So I would say go for that. Would like to play that one day. Limit it to one core. Well, I used to play it on an old, like, Pentium 3... Or Pentium 4, sorry. 3 gig. Gigahertz Pentium 4. And then I ran it on a Core Duo, and then I ran it on... Actually, no, I never ran it on this laptop. But single and dual core things would just equally have it crash, so I don't know. Maybe it's just me after all this time. I've actually been the problem. It's not the site, it's me. This is why our relationship cannot work. Hmm. So, um... Stuff. <laughs> I really wish I had something to say. Um... Wish you guys sure nothing happened on the internet? Anyone? I have words to make, but nothing to say. Making words isn't hard. Saying things is difficult. There's a difference. Also, anybody want to hire me? I need to find a summer job. I haven't been having that much luck at the moment. I can make you coasters. You don't need anybody with an engineering degree. Or experience. I can do it all for you. On the cheap. Can't necessarily promise everyone will survive. But, if you can overlook that, I'm your man. Look up the unlucky buy-in meme. Sure, why not? Unlucky buy-in? It's not a thing. Oh. B-A-Y-A. No, wait. No, it just brings you to a bunch of random Indian websites. What the hell's looking up? B-Y-A-N, that is nothing. Brian, you mean to say? Oh, great, first link is 9gag. Everyone's favorite site. Almost as much fun as a uh, Rage Stash, or whatever these sites are anymore. We really need fewer sites that are all just about memes and things. There are entirely too many. Switch views. Sure, I'll switch that up for you. Look at that. It's an entirely new dimension on the park. What's my opinion on the gun blade? Um... Is that the thing in Final Fantasy VIII? The one that I never played? In fact, there were very many that I never played. I've played all of them except ten. And seven. Spin the park around. Sure! How does that make you feel? It is almost four in the morning. <sighs> it's the stream that never ends, but it's August year three, which means I only need to go to September and then October and then I'm done. And then I can turn the stream off and go get some sleep. Maybe. But I probably won't.
never get sleep. My sleep schedule is so irreparably broken. Those are the Coliseums. Oh, wait, on the other side. Hang on. There they are. It's a square and a circle. What was that? Anybody hear that? Sounded like fireworks. What was that? Anyone? Huh. I don't think I've ever heard that before. Huh. Yeah, that. I have no idea what that is. Is it even coming from this game? Hmm. Huh. Well, I'm confused. Did I download the Cold War version? Oh, man. I would buy that in an instant. Oh! You know what that is? I'll tell you what that is. I know what it is. Okay, there was a thing. Yep, it's not my rod breaking down. Um, there was an old GeoCity site I found. Alright. And... No, the, the voice said Pika, and then it exploded. Um, there was an old GeoCity site that I found. A really dumb GeoCity site that was essentially all about hating Pokemon. A lot. And this guy had a bunch of really badly animated Flash cartoons where he blew up Pokemon or, like, put them into microwaves. And they were really terrible and, you know, were, as I mentioned, really badly animated. And he also had a, um, a screensaver that you could download. And this being some random thing on an old GeoCity site, I downloaded it. And every time my Windows 98 virtual machine that has, Windo that has uh, America Online on it goes into screensaver... It does that, and I never remember it's coming from that because the screen goes black. It doesn't actually show anything on it, so I just sort of assume it isn't making noise, but, um, no, that's, that's what it is. It is that really bizarre screensaver that I downloaded on an older stream before. So, now you know. That sound you heard was probably an animation of Pikachu being strapped to a rocket by some guy who makes really bizarre Flash cartoons. I don't even know if you can call them cartoons. They're just... things. I probably should get a new one. In case you're wondering, I've solved the mystery. Yeah, that's essentially it. Here's something old on the internet. I'm going to download it. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it does. But that's okay. It doesn't matter. So, let me see. I'm gonna poke around on Justin TV and see what other people are streaming. Hey, Monotone Tim, are you ready to broadcast? No, I'm not. Doing it anyway, though. 
live channels. What do we have? Uh, something that looks like Warcraft, something that looks like Warcraft, something that looks like Reddit, something that looks like Warcraft, something that looks like uh, Starcraft? Warcraft, 24 hours of the N64. Maybe Warcraft, the Starcraft, Craftcraft, Craftcraft, Craft, Craftcraft, and Craft. Okay, so a bunch of crafts, more or less. What have I been doing this whole time? I don't know. I've just sort of been sitting here, just talking about nothing. Waiting for the time to pass. <laughs> and then next week I will play Agricultural Simulator 2012. Or maybe we can just have a big Sonic night and I can finally play Sonic 4 and Sonic Unleashed. I don't know. Whatever works. Whatever people want to watch. Oh yeah, that's right. Somebody also gifted me The Sims 3, which I haven't gotten around to playing yet. Oh well. One day. Unleashed? Yes, Generations. That's what I meant. Generations. Generations. Not Unleashed. I never beat that one because getting all the medals to get on to further levels is a pain in the butt, my god. It's like you have to play the level and play it really fast for fun, and then go through it really, really slowly, which isn't fun, to make sure you get all the medals to unlock future levels, which you then have to do the same thing for each time. And it gets a little bit tedious. I mean... I would rather play Sonic 06 over it sometimes. In fact, I have had... Actually, I have played Sonic 06 like four times through to completion. Because it's awful. But awful in a horrible, yet lovable way. Kind of a case where you wonder if they were kidding about everything. I don't know. It's, it's enjoyable in how bad it is. There are some bad games that just make you upset. Sonic 06 is a bad game that makes you smile. Or maybe there's just something wrong with me. I don't know anymore. It's almost 4 a.m. Don't expect me to really make any sense right now. Or have been making any... Or have made any sense for the past couple of hours. Haven't played Sonic 4. Somebody gifted it to me last week. I don't know. It didn't really appeal to me that much, to be honest. Not sure what it was about it. It just sort of seemed like in Sonic 4, every time I'd see a trailer, it's kind of like their idea of Genesis music was a MIDI with that one Genesis drum sample just kind of used interspersed throughout the song. Hmm. Haven't played it, so I don't know about the physics, but the thing is that if you go on Sonic Retro, you know, one of the big Sonic fan sites, boards, whatever, everyone will essentially say the physics are terrible. And also his eyes are green, and that's bad, and the shoes are something, and the legs are something, and he's too tall, or too blue, or too... I don't even know. It's a great thing about the Sonic fandom. You will have equal number of people telling you how much they love the game, and how much the game sucks. 
Like, I feel like the Sonic fandom is made of, essentially, people who hate the game. Like, that they are united for their hatred, or by their hatred, of, of what the series has become. And everyone is just all disgruntled, and there's something strangely appealing and alluring about that. And I can't really explain it, but I guess it's a breath of fresh air from uh, seeing everyone love the thing that their uh, fan base is centered around. That made any sense at all. It probably didn't, but that's all right. You want to see your park? Or my park? Looks like this. It's a bunch of stuff, all kind of really highly compressed. A bunch of people bumping into each other. And then a bunch of coliseums just kind of out here. Don't ask, I don't know. But the scenario is almost done. Which is good. I have seen the Sonic Sucks video. The Mega 64 one. Both of them, actually, now that I think about it. should probably watch more Mega64 stuff. Every time I watch one of their videos, I end up enjoying it, but I never really think about... You know, I should go to their site and look at all their other stuff. Um, I just watch it and say, yeah, that was pretty funny, and now I'm going to go back and... I don't know do this. Well, the thing about the Genesis was that Genesis music sounded gritty. It had some sort of bite to it. Whereas something like Super Nintendo music sounded all smooth and polished. Anyway, it wasn't bad, it was just different, and I feel like the new Sonic music and something like Sonic 4 sounds too smooth and polished and just kind of like a MIDI instead of having like that Genesis grime on the audio, if you know what I mean. There's just something very grimy about the Genesis in general, which is a difficult thing to explain, but... It sort of has that feel in the music and in the graphics, especially in like a lot of later games where they tried to cram in a lot of details on things, but it all kind of looked like a big mess of grimy pixels. And it was great. And I did kind of like that horrible butt rock that they had for the um, Adventure series. It's one of these things that um, isn't necessarily great music if you listen to it on its own, but in the context of the game, it's brilliant. Oh man, I never beat Shadow. Well, no, I, I beat one of the storylines, or maybe two, but never completely. It was too painful. Favorite Sonic game? Uh, three and Knuckles, I guess. I don't think you can really top that one. Did I ever do DX Director's Cut? Uh, no, I had the original one in the Dreamcast. Didn't get the Director's Cut thing. There was no need. October 6th. By October 31st, we will beat the scenario. It will be past 4 in the morning, and I think I'm going to turn the feed off and go to bed. Because everything hurts and I'm tired. So, 
just a heads up. If you want to gawk at further streams, consider following this one or the Twitter account so you will always know whenever I'm about to stream something dumb, including AOL. And, um, that's about it. Thank you for watching. I'm still going to keep playing until the scenario's over, of course. And, uh, now the chat is just talking about Sonic, and this is... It's not a Sonic game. I don't feel like there's anything else to talk about. If it weren't three... no, if it weren't four in the morning or so, I would consider just building a bunch of dumb things in the park, but I have to say, any motivation I had kind of died. Now I just sort of want to sleep. Hey, Obi-Wannabe. Night then, Willow925. Thank you for watching. Sonic Shuffle. Yeah, that was pretty bad. <laughs> That's Sonic Shuffle. The end. Not much else to say about that one. There's something about the way... I mean, aside from the fact that the games weren't great... Um, the way that everything animated was really strange. Like, oh, my merry-go-round's gonna blow up? Nah, merry-go-round's fine. Um, the way that the mouths would move was really weird. Like, it was weird in Sonic Adventure where the mouth would move and, like, the entire face would contort all horribly, but Sonic Shuffle just looked like the face was just about to fall off. It, it was... I don't know. Difficult to explain if you're not looking at a video of it, but it just looks horrifying. And I don't know what they did to it to make it look so bad. Uh, only GBA Sonic game I played was Sonic Advance 2, and that was pretty fun. I've heard the others were alright. Merry Ground will never explode. I know it did at least once in my life. I will never be able to replicate it on video, but I will have to be content with going through the rest of my life with everyone on the internet thinking I'm a dirty, dirty liar. And that's okay. It was not a dream, it happened. I know it happened. One day, I will find a way to prove it. But, not going to be tonight. One day I'm just going to have to make one, let it go, and uh, just let it spin forever. And record it the entire time, come back after a week and see if it still works, and if it did, or if it did, check out the video footage and uh, upload it to YouTube so I can finally prove it. Oh, wait, did someone actually record that? Blowing up. Oh, God. It's loud. Turn it off. They have it spinning around, but they didn't have it flying into the air. No, they don't. They have it just shaking. They don't have it blowing up. That was the thing that happened, that I was trying to prove, that they spin around and fly into the air and blow up. And someone's in my bathroom again. I tell you. I 
I know it does. I know it happened. Even if you don't believe me. And the scenario is just about to end. Thank God. I can finally go to bed. Been streaming for almost eight hours. It's a lot of time when you think about it. Oh, finally. <laughs> AOL Chatroom Canyon is done. With over 2,000 guests. More than 50% more than the one... 1,200 they originally wanted. Enter name into scenario. And put my AOL screen name. There. Okay. Well. That was eight hours of the stream encompassing... Ambulance Simulator 2012. Uh, train Sim 2012, Trains vs. Zombies, and some Roller Coaster Tycoon with AOL stuff on the side. Thank you for watching. Uh, thanks for putting up with the stream for the eight hours it's been on. Consider following the stream or the Twitter account or any of that wonderful stuff. Um, make numbers go up, which is great for validating whatever. I don't know. Um, I'm going to turn the feed off right about now. So thanks again for watching, and I will see you at the next stream, where we'll either stream a whole bunch of random Sonic stuff, or Agricultural Simulator, or something. That'll be next week, probably next Friday, and uh, hopefully we'll see you there. Thanks again for everything, and I'm going to bed. Good night, everyone, and thanks again.